A ceremony was held in the nation's capital today to mark the 70th anniversary of the Korean War. Outside the South Korean embassy in Ottawa, just a handful of veterans and dignitaries gathered because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The war between Soviet-backed communists in the north and the American-backed democratic government in the south broke out on June 25, 1950. More than 26,000 Canadians volunteered to serve during the three-year conflict. 516 of them never came home, making it the third bloodiest war in Canadian military history. It ended with the signing of an armistice agreement in July 1953, but it wasn't a peace treaty. The two Koreas are technically still at war. This time of year is usually filled with graduation parties, but those aren't allowed right now because of the pandemic. It's been hard on grads, but as Mike Drolet explains, they've come up with some rad ways to mark the milestone. What better way to say high school grads are moving on up in their education than a ride on a ski lift? Jet ski graduation. Or what about heading off into the open ocean on a jet ski? Life is kind of like that after all, isn't it? Visual metaphors aside, graduation is a pretty big deal. And with 2020 putting the kibosh on parties, students have had to get creative to keep their day special. In Calgary, they acted like they'd won the Stanley Cup. Congrats, good luck next year. And up the highway in Edmonton, the ceremony was socially distant and responsible. I wish it could be uh, a bit more, like, together, but I mean, this is the best we can get. It was good, but not nearly as much fun as this dancing student clearly wanted it to be. Even at the U.S. West Point Academy, graduates sat physically distant from one another with military precision, threw their hats up in the air, and then threw the rules out the door and hugged each other. Every ceremony has been unique in its own way for students desperate for normalcy. I'm feeling kind of sad because like we don't have prom and like there's like no like ceremony for like graduation. So like you can't really get to walk across the stage and make like that statement, you know, of like I'm finishing, I'm done. And that holds extra weight in this Toronto neighborhood that carries a stigma of guns and crime. It's why every year community leaders take to the streets music in a parade for every age, elementary through high school. Graduating really is a form of resilience and it really does demonstrate a huge accomplishment for our young people. So grads couldn't gather en masse, anywhere. And while ceremonies and proms were missed, what was organized in their stead will likely leave a more lasting impression. Mike Drillet, Global News, Toronto. The new series that goes inside the COVID-19 pandemic, from the front lines to the everyday heroes helping us cope with the unprecedented change. Coronavirus, the new reality. A global news special, Sundays at 7 on Global.